whenever she eats at his family's house, she gets sick and then they cancel the trip. Suspicious. Suspicious. Hi family members, welcome back to our channel our channel now so in today's video i'm going to be reading a post i saw on reddit and i'm also gonna do a get ready with me and i don't know things are happening it's just it's just weird initially read the post that was like more people have to know about this yeah that's what i'm gonna do today so i'm gonna get to the video because i don't want to waste any time okay so I lied. The story is not on Reddit. The story is on Twitter because I just went back to my Reddit to look for it and I didn't find it. But I'm going to read the story so we can get started. And by the way, this is vitamin C. So, there's a story on Reddit about a woman who married this man after two months of dating. At his family months later and his mom was always standoffish towards her. Okay. Anytime they plan a trip to get to a getaway cabin or hiking slash remote area, they'll stop and visit family on the way. Every single time she would eat there, she would get extremely sick to where she would have to, to where they would have to cancel the, their romantic getaways. So basically, she, before they go to their getaway, they go to his family's house, and then whenever she eats at his family's house, she gets sick and then they canceled the trip. Suspicious. Suspicious. Yeah, that's, That's weird. Eventually she realized that he was the only one severely sick. It wasn't a coincidence. She realized her mother-in-law was poisoning her. What in the Nollywood? Mm but had no proof. So one time she swapped her plate with her husband's and this time he got sick. What in the mama G is going on? Mm. Once her husband recovered, she told him what she did and he got angry. Angry like domestic abuse angry. Oh snap. <laughs> she fled to a friend's house and ignored his calls for two days. Finally, when she turned her phone on, she had a message from the police. Bah, 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 from the police. Okay. Um, turned out her husband ended up confronting the mom with a knife and the mom shot him dead. I don't even mean to laugh. It's not funny, but what kind of sick and twisted family is this? Like sick. Like, I don't even mean to shit on anybody that got mental illness, but this is like, this is some like freaking, um, the mom later told the woman that she was protecting her because she suspected her son killed his former wife for life insurance. Ah, that's a very, um, I don't even want to be that person on here, so I'm not going to say it. Debbie. Don't say that. But she suspected that her son killed his former former wife for life insurance, for life insurance money, and feared he would do the same thing to her on their getaways. I feel like there could have been a better way though. Like poisoning somebody though. I just could have been a better way to have that conversation. Although I don't think she would have believed her. So to keep her alive, she would make her sick to the point she physically couldn't go to these remote areas with him after investigating the woman find out found out her hus her husband's ex-wife died on a hiking trip with him and he inherited tons of money in life insurance oh my god this is an Hollywood plot like well mine is the life insurance right but what the hell? Or this is a Lifetime movie. 
and she later found out her now dead husband took out a bunch of life insurance policies in her name without her knowledge. In that short time, they were married. So it all added up, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, that wasn't the ending I expected. And then the next post says, this is a fiction... <laughs> this is a fictional literary masterpiece written by Nick Morfox via Reddit in case of you were wondering. So the story is fictional, but I just know for a fact that I believe this in my heart because I've watched too many Lifetime movies. I've seen too, like too many true crime documentaries to know that things like this do happen. Maybe not to this extent. This is like level 10 but these things do happen and it's so like unfortunate so that concludes the story like i said even though it's fictional it just it just feels very like real and very weird but it's like something that you would hear on the news and believe especially when it comes to it that's not give up past them at all so i believe it as wrong and as sick and twisted as that is, I believe it and I believe that this story could potentially be a Lifetime movie. I keep saying it over and over, but somebody needs to take it up. Like somebody needs to put this on Lifetime like today, okay? <laughs> also a big kudos to the writer because he had me fooled for the entire, for the entire time. And it was just very, very much a roller coaster. Um, yeah. So anyways, that is the end of our video today. I will see you guys next week in the next video. I love you guys so, so, so very much. Thank you for joining the family. And if you haven't joined the family, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell and you will get notified every time I have a video. And that's it, my loves. Bye-bye.